Welcome to Unit 3 of Real Shanghai Mathematics Practice Book 2.2. Uh, this section is called Introduction to Time and uh, Brackets 2 because this has been covered before in another book, the uh, Part 1, which, if as a reminder, just covered the O clock, the hour, and the half an hour um, concept regarding time. Now we've got two sections here. Um, the first of them is called hours, minutes, and seconds. And we'll start off on page 26. So getting familiar with different times. So you've got question one is three o'clock. So we can write that as 0300 or 1500. We've covered this before. Um, so recap that if you haven't done that before. And again, half past five um, to the next one. So the next concept which hasn't been covered so far is so when the big hand when the big hand is on a three, like not the small hand, the big hand. So whenever the big hand is on a number three, we talk about quarter past, and it's past because it's gone past twelve. Um, so this is quarter past, and the hour clock is two, so it's gone. The small hand has just gone past the two, so it's quarter past two. So another name for that is two fifteen. Again, from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3, each of those is 5 minutes. So that's why when you get to half past big hand and 6, we say 30 past. Because all the way around the clock, there's 60 minutes in an hour. And so half of that is 60. And quarter of that, which is quarter past quarter of 60, is 15. Or you can go up in um, from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3. Each one is 5. So it's 5, 10, 15. So that's 15 past uh, 15 at uh, 215 or quarter past two and then you've got draw lines to connect the time so here um, you just have to connect them together and again you're now meant to be familiar with the minutes so again each of those little ones each of the little ones is one minute and the little ones are all the way to 60 so there's five of those little ones between five and one and between one and two and so on and so forth um, so oh, 9 minutes past 4 is going to be 16.09. Again, 4 can be 0, 04 in the morning or 16.09, which is in the afternoon. And because after 12, the cloud, the one after the 12 in the afternoon becomes 13, 14, 15, and so 16, and so on. So we have to add 12 plus 4 to give you the 16.09. Moving on to question 3, draw the minute hand in the correct place. So this is 6 o'clock. So o'clock has big hands all the way to a 12. And 30 is big hand to 6. And 50, and remember with 50, we're going up in 5s. And the uh, so we can go all the way around and get to 50. Uh, and that would be going up in 5s. So each one's 5. So 5 times 10 is 50. So that'll be on the uh, big hand will be on the 10. Or from the 12, we go back from 60. So it'll be 55 and 50. Uh, 202. So that will be 2 and o'clock is on the 12 and this is 2 minutes past so it will be just 2 small bits past the 12. Um, so it's going to be between the big hand is between 12 and 1 and in those little small sections it's going to be on the second one because each of those is 1 so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it's 5 past when it's on the one hand and it's on 0 when it's on 12 so it's 2 past 2, two uh, little bits past the Two o'clock mark and then 10 45 again the quarters are 15 then you got half which is the six and then the 45 which is in the nine okay because 15 30 45 and then 60 as the quarters of the hour and then so that's that one done and then 19 16 again 19 is a seven because 12 plus 7 is 19 and then 16 Again, go to your fives first. So go your 5, 10, 15. Okay, so that's on the th th 3. And just past that, one one little bit past that will be your 16. And make sure it's a long hand. Question 4, A, what is the time on each clock? And so you have to be sure which one it is. So this is 3, and it's going to be on the one hand. So it's going to be 5 minutes. So it's 3 or 5, and then the other one. And next to that, it hasn't quite reached 7 yet. So it's going to be 6 something. And it's not reached the 12 mark yet. Uh, so it hasn't been 60 minutes. It's less than that. So it's going to be 55. So 6.55. Uh, Emma taking a daytime nap. Take the correct time. If it's a daytime nap, then it's in the afternoon. And the afternoons after the 12, we go on to 13. 
and then you got B it is 445 which clock face shows the correct time so 445 means it's 15 minutes left to 5 so it's gone past the 4 okay so the one the hand has to be well past the 4 approaching the 5 because only 15 minutes more left to get to 5 so it's going to be the second one not the first one and then you've got like, what time do these things happen use the 24 hours 24 hour remember for morning is 0 so 0 5 or 0 7 if it's 7 o'clock morning and after that, it's going to be 15, 16, 17, and so on. So you need to write that there. And again, this is a good skill to have because the child is struggling with difficulty, maybe. But that's probably because you haven't been going through the times with them and making them familiar with that, um, which is an exercise you should have been doing uh, and still be doing now with them. So when you have a clock face, you need to check with them what time is it now, what time is it now, and it'll be a good practice and they'll get very familiar with it as long as you are testing them and checking with them what time it is. Um, and even, for example, at this time, you can play your computer and they should be able to then see what time that is and look for that time and they can check with you regarding that time and give them times which make it a little bit harder, challenges them as long as they know the previous time. Uh, so moving on to page 29, try it out. Running 50 meters will take how many seconds? Um, 20 star jumps will take how many minutes? Um, so these are just exercises to do if you wish to do them. To say and write the time of each of the clock. Um, so here again, remember it goes up in five, so it's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So on the five hand, uh, this is the five times table. So uh, five, five is twenty-five. So this is nine twenty-five. Why is it nine? Because the time has gone past nine and it hasn't quite reached the ten. So when it's between nine and ten, then it's always going to be nine o'clock or something. Uh, next one, the hour clock is between two and three, so it's going to be two something. Uh, okay, and in this case you get to the nine one which is nine five is 45 and it's gone past it three past that so it's 48 and the two times are it could be morning or afternoon so in this case it could be 0 2 uh, 48 or it could be past the 12 hour mark in this case it's 14 so this is afternoon 14 48 okay and i leave the last one for yourselves to do question three true or false 3a the second hand takes one second to move one small division so is this correct this should be correct um, the minute hand takes 10 minutes to move one small division. No, so one small division because it's 60 minutes in an hour and there's also 60 seconds in an hour. So they both uh, represent the small divisions represent one minute uh, for the uh, hour, uh, hour uh, sorry, for the minute hand and for the second hand it represents one second. The second hand takes 60 seconds to go around the whole clock. Well, that's right, that would be one minute while the minute hand moves one small division at the same time. That is correct because that will be one minute and one minute will be a small one for that. The hour hand moves one big division while the minute hand takes 60 minutes to go around the whole clock. That's correct because 60 minutes will be one hour and one hour is those larger ones. Okay. Um, and then find out the start and finish time of your favorite TV program. It could be the table level B. Again, getting you familiar with times. Uh, it doesn't have to be TV programs. It could be other things if you're struggling with that. And then moving on to the second one, and these are, as I say, just two units here, and these are practice exercises, practice with times. Every night, Dylan sleeps for around nine What? So this is getting you familiar with the concept of hours, seconds, minutes, okay? So do you go to sleep for nine hours or nine minutes or nine seconds? Clearly nine hours. And again, when you get comfortable with time, this should be straightforward. Children did gymnastic routine that took around how long? Okay, so 10 hours would be too long. Um, and 10 seconds will, won't be long enough, so it'll be 10 minutes. Poppy bounce the board 50 times continuously for about one, one what, one hour? No, that'll be too long. One seconds, that'll be too short, one minute. One heartbeat takes about, heartbeats are something that happen very, very quickly, so it's about one second. Table tennis match takes around 30 what? 30 seconds is too little, so it'll be 30 minutes and 30 hours is more than a day. I let the mental calculation and it took two, two, what, two, Seconds or two minutes? Two minutes will be too long. Much of the should be very quick. So it'll be two seconds that go with question one, which is greater, and then write that down. Okay? So you need to write the symbols greater than, equal to, or less than. Sorry, greater than, uh, less than, or equal. And the six minutes is the same, is what? So 60 seconds. You can try With these, try and put them into the same units. Try and put them into the same units. And just as a reminder, should be familiar with it. You definitely need to know the following which is that one minute okay so one minute is equal to how much okay so one minute is equal to 60 seconds okay 60 seconds seconds 
So this is what you need to know. Second, okay. And um, the other one is one hour. One hour for the start R H R is the same as sixty. Okay, so the same sixty comes here again. Sixty and uh, sixty minutes. So second is the smallest unit, then minutes, and then hour, and then we may as well do day as well. So one day will be how many hours? Okay, not sixty this time, right? But twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours. Okay, so, so we have to go around twice the clock face for it to be whole day. So you have your morning and, and afternoon in that, and that's why we have a.m. For morning and p.m. for afternoon okay uh, moving on to so we're doing question one um, on page 32 and as I say for this one uh, try and get the same units so that will help you so 60 seconds is how much how many minutes is that that's the same as one minute and so for six minutes compared to one minute you should know six minutes are larger ten minutes ten hours some of these are straightforward so you need to know the same Again, three days. Three days. We've said twenty-four hours, so that's three times twenty-four, which is clearly going to be more than three hours. And twenty seconds, two minutes, so two minutes, two times sixty is hundred twenty seconds. Five hours and five hundred seconds. Um, so go with all is the easier one. Don't do the hard one. So don't convert your hours into seconds because that's lots of that's going to be like five times sixty times sixty again because you're converting minutes to seconds. Whereas converting five hundred seconds to minutes is much much easier so the, we know 500 seconds to minutes uh, we don't need to know the exact answer but it'll be, it'll be some minutes okay and that's going to be obviously less than five hours so you don't have to work these out it should a lot of them should be straightforward um five times 24 for five days for well, five times 24 so that's uh you can work that out um and you might need to work that out by doing five times 20 which we did before um and then five times four so five times 20 is 100 plus uh, uh, 5 times 4 is 20, so 120, so this will be the same. And then we got part 2, think and write. So 12.30, and then after 15 minutes, what time would it be? So we have to add 15 to the minutes. So that becomes 12.45. And then after how long will it become 1.15? Okay, so after how many um, will it become um, 1.15? And we, or we can say 13.15, that's the time there. So the clock will have to go another 15 minutes to become 1 o'clock and then another 15 minutes to become quarter past. So that will be 30 minutes. And with that, we'll end this lesson here. And thank you for your time. Please do subscribe and like and put comments below. I will be much appreciated.